Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. You're joining me here at the reviewers table with a Samsung Go mic, which as you can see if we do the quick box 360 is a nice small portable USB microphone and rather than just doing a straight up unboxing I'm hoping to make this video far more useful to you as in a few seconds I will give you a proper sample of the microphone quality by recording the rest of the audio to this video rather than on the iPad that you you're currently hearing the audio from and also seeing the video of, I will record the rest as audio from the microphone itself. So without further ado, let's count to three and then switch to the microphone recording through the miracle of editing and let's have a look what's in the box. One, two, three, let's go. So as we get on with the unboxing, I'm currently recording this in the first sample of the microphone's three settings. This is the cardioid mode where it's recording sound from just one direction directly ahead. I apologise if this audio isn't perfect as this is my first time for a very long time using one of these microphones. The unboxing, there's not too much to say, but I will say the reason I went for one of these microphones is because I've used them in the past for many, many podcast recordings that some people watching this video might be able to cast their minds back many years and remember but really I just wanted to give you a quick demo of the basic modes the microphone has so this is the cardioid mode and again these sample clips here are the very first audio clippings I've recorded with the microphone I just want to make that completely clear so I'm still not um, up to where exactly I should be in relation to how close or how far away from the microphone I might need to be for the best recording options but I suppose we shall flip over to the next audio recording style Right then, we are now recording with a 10 decibel pad, which I'm not entirely certain what that means, but basically, I think its ultimate aim is to reduce any background noise, so you could well be hearing a far richer voice sound in this clip, with very little actual distortion and background interruption, general noise of a world outside going about its daily life. So let's see what this sounds like because what I'm currently hearing through my earphones plugged into the microphone sounds extremely good compared to the previous bit of recording that we've done. So I'm going to stop this because I want to listen back to this little clip almost immediately. Right then, let's get on to the third type of recording. We are now recording this in the third and final option. This is the omnidirectional recording option, which records from both sides of the microphone. So what I'm going to do to test this out is say, at the moment, you might hear a little bit of general interference and interruptions. I pick the microphone up. I'm turning the microphone around. I'm now speaking directly from the side of the microphone and turning the microphone around again. I'm now speaking directly into the back of the microphone, all at the same sort of distance throughout this little clip. How's this recording? Is it recording a lot more background noise? Although to be fair I am in a pretty quiet environment at the moment. As we wrap things up here I think that it's definitely fair to say that my favourite recording option is definitely the second one that we tried of the 10 decibel pad which as I say I'm not entirely certain exactly what that means on a technical level but what it means for the actual audio recording is fairly, well, fairly obvious when you've got them all side by side like this as it stands out for single voice recording such as the audio books that I'm going to be working on for the next couple of months and goodness knows could be the next couple of years at the rate that I seem to get through things like this. On that note then I will wrap things up and say thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this video useful or entertaining or in some way worth watching. Feel free to check out my other videos for loads of living on a narrowboat and the great outdoors and scenery and goodness knows what else. Feel free to subscribe or like the Facebook page or add me personally on Facebook and Twitter if you want for loads of photos and updates from Life Afloat. Until the next time, keep it microphone worthy, keep it boat worthy and farewell.